Okay, welcome back to a new LaTeX tutorial. In this video, I would like to explain how you can create letters in LaTeX very easily. Now, maybe you have done this in Word several times before, but when you do this once in LaTeX, you will find out that this is much easier, much simpler, it is scriptable, you can create a series of letters to different recipients, for example. Yeah, and uh, of course it looks from my point of view a little bit more fancy and you will see later what are the benefits if you do it in LaTeX. Yeah? So there are many packages available as usual, yeah, which you can use um, and maybe you have a better one, you find a better one in, in the internet one day, but for the time being I would like to stick to one which is called SCR letter 2 because this is also the one which I'm using frequently since a long time and I and I get the best results with that. Yeah. So the minimum thing which you have to do, of course, you have to first create a LaTeX file, which I called in this case letter.tech. And then you have to uh, define the document class and the standard font size is again 11pt, of course. So here we have to insert SCR letter without E, I think, letter 2. Yeah. So this is um, what you have to write there. And then, in principle, we don't have to include any further package. We can directly start with our begin and end document, as usual. And then what we have to additionally insert here inside this is another environment, which is called letter. So we have to write here begin letter and end letter. And uh, yeah, this is to sh tell LaTeX that at which or the pack or the document class, especially where the letter starts and where it ends. Yeah? So um, here in this case, uh, we have to insert a few or, or one more additional uh, parameter to that environment. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. And this is the recipient address. This is very essential. Yeah? So this we can add directly here in curly brackets behind begin letter. And uh, let's suppose we send it to one person named John Doe, as usual, double backslash for a new line. And he lives maybe in Park Street 1, double backslash for new line in 12345 uh, small town. Yeah? And when you run this, it will still not work. There is one additional command which you have to add. And this is called opening. Yeah? So you have to write here and below begin letter. You have to write backslash opening. And then, uh, so for example, dear sir, Madam or whatever. In this case, we can even write dear Mr. Doe. Okay, now you can compile that. And you see now our letter here on the right side appears. So we have here the recipient address shown on the upper left corner. Uh, we have fold marks included standard in the standard configuration. We have here our opening and we have here even the date at which is shown there. Yeah? So this is of course the absolute minimum configuration. And you could use this already by just typing in some text here. But of course, um, we want to make it a little bit more fancy now. So what we can also do, of course, is inserting a closing. Yeah? So in this case, it could be, for example, kind regards. Yeah? And when you compile this, it appears here. And then you could sign the letter. You could insert a picture here with include graphics, including your signature. So this is also quite simple. Um, what we can also do, of course, um, we could change the date. So if we don't want to give today's date, maybe we can write June 11, 2022, uh, 2022. And when we compile this now, the date is here also updated. Okay. Now um, it comes to the part which is, I think, essential for most of the letters because such a letter would not be um, valid. Uh, you also have to include uh, your own address. Yeah, so for that you use actually uh, some comma variables. Uh, in this case, uh, it's called set comma var for set comma variable. And then um, the first one um, which we want to change is um, from name. Yeah, so this is your own name which you have to insert. Um, in this case, let's suppose again the same person sends a letter to himself and it would be in this case John Doe again. Um, yeah, that then comma var in this case um, the next variable would be uh, from address and again Park Street 1 and then we have to write double backslash uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 small town. Then again, set comma var 
uh, and then the next one is uh, place and so yeah here we have to uh, actually only no so yeah here we have to then insert the place so in this case uh, again small town yeah this is for the date important yeah where it will be shown later uh, the location together with the date and then of course um, similar to emails you maybe want to insert a subject yeah so in this case uh, test letter for example now we can compile that it doesn't give any error message now you see you have the our, our address is shown here and also here above this line and the recipient address is shown here which is yeah incident is the same then we have here the subject we have here the location in combination with the date we have the opening we have the end closing and we have also the name written here of the person who sends the letter um, because there you can insert then your own signature above that yeah so i think, think it looks quite uh, reasonable already and uh, in principle um, such letter you could just send the advantage here is that um, you have your uh, the sender address and the recipient address is shown here in this upper left corner and when you fold the letter according to this fold marks here which you can see uh, then you uh, don't have to insert your address again on, on the envelope you can just choose an envelope with this transparent window and then if you insert the letter uh, the address is already positioned on the right place so you can directly post the letter by putting a stamp on that this is quite an, an easy thing i think um, yeah but you can of course also choose a few more options to make it a little bit nicer uh, maybe in this case uh, we want to have it um, we want to have a different font type um, which is looking a little bit nicer so um, we can for example write here uh, renew command um family default and then uh s f default um and when you do this now you can see we have uh, this arial helvetica type of font yeah which looks a little bit nicer i think um of course we also want to see a little bit more from our letter so what we can do we can uh, insert a blind text here um in order to uh, make it more visible and now you can see uh, the letter looks a little bit nicer um, okay this is one thing um, if for example the, um, the the place where the text appears is a little bit too small or too big what you can easily do you could uh, use a geometry package here and uh, the scale parameter that we have uh, come to know before already um, so let's suppose i write here uh, 0 0.5 then you can see everything remains the same, which is important that everything appears on the same position, but uh, only the content of the letter changes. Yeah? And then it gets quite small, yeah? which is maybe not what you want. If you set it to one, it could be a little bit too big. So I found out that 75% uh, is, is a good value, yeah, which you can use. Okay, um, yeah, this is also quite nice and useful feature. What you can also do in order to make it a little bit look more beautiful, you can uh, set some comma uh, options. Yeah? These are not variables, these are now options which you have to insert uh, and which are then transferred to this, um, to this document class. So for example, you can write here from a line equal write. And when you compile this, you will see now the, the address, the sender address is now not anymore shown here on the left side but on the right side which looks again a little bit more fancy from my point of view uh, what you can also do um, in this case it's automatically um, included but if it does not appear in your case for some reasons or you want to deactivate this you could write here fold marks equal on then they will show or you could also uh, off them and then they will not be shown so depend on what is the default value and what you want to have you can either um, you can either include it or not. Uh, another nice thing here, what I want to show is when you write um, from rule on and you compile this, then you see that now we have a rule here uh, underneath this uh, sender address, which also looks a little bit more fancy from my point of view. Um, yeah, then there is one thing uh, which is not so much important for our case, but there is another option called enlarge uh, first page uh, when you do that um, it increases the size of the 
first page slightly compared to the following pages to highlight it more. Yeah, but uh, it's not important to do that. And you will see in my case, it doesn't change anything. So whether you activate it or you deactivate it, I think doesn't matter so much. And I have never used this so far. Then what you can also do, you could uh, in activate a comma option, which is called from logo. And if you do that, in my case, it doesn't change anything. But then with set comma var, you would be able to add a logo uh, to that. So if you have a company and you want to insert a logo here on the upper left corner, for example, you can also do that, which looks uh, quite nice, I think. Yeah, and this is the way how I'm usually creating letters. Uh, it's quite fast. And if you have a template, you can easily uh, use this one and uh, copy paste it. And uh, yeah, you can uh, yeah you can write a Python script, for example, and then uh, change the address every time um, you want to send it to different people. Yeah, this is then easy. Or there are also, I think, certain packages available which you can include. And uh, then according to a CSV file, which you have a comma separated value file, you can insert the addresses and automatically create um, hundreds of, of letters which you want to send in a row to people. Okay, uh, yeah, then uh, this is everything what I want to show in this video. It was quite short, but I hope that you learned something new, that it was beneficial and that you are now able to make letters in LaTeX. And I promise that uh, it will be, from my point of view, much nicer, much easier, and um, in general, a better solution than doing it in, in Word, for example. Yeah? Okay, if you, if you like the video, as usual, please hit the like button. Please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far. And hopefully see you soon for a new video.